Hi! Today I'll be coloring picture from the new issue of Coloring Haven and this issue is by Jody Bergsma. I have a review of this magazine of course on my channel and picture which I selected is called Eternal Spirit. I hadn't seen the original painting by Jody before I started this page. So I was a little bit confused with lines on the background and I decide, decided to get rid of them. For this I used my gouache paints because they are opaque and they are able to cover lines. My set of gouache paints is made by the same manufacturer who produce white night watercolors. They are of the artist quality, but they are ridiculously cheap in my country. I paid about 8 United States dollars for this set of 12 small pots. Usually all manufacturers in Russia or in Ukraine produce gouache paints not in tubes, but these small pots or jars. Gouache paint can be dissolved with water. And it's not permanent after it dry, and you can reactivate it. After drying, gouache paint usually becomes slightly lighter in color, and it has very nice velvet matte finish. In my country, gouache paints are considered the most suitable art supplies for the kids' art lessons. But I never loved it when I was a child. I didn't visit art school, so I didn't know how to use it properly. And I always thought that gouache colors are too bright and paint is too opaque. Only after I started coloring, I understood how to use properly and how great is this art medium. I discovered that key to the beautiful gouache picture is to use mixes with white paint. If you decided to purchase a set of gouache paints, I highly recommend to purchase separately a big tube of white gouache. And I prefer titanium white because it's opaque and zinc white is more transparent and but it's more suitable for the mixes. I uh, fortunately have both in my set, so I will show you that first lower here I did with titanium white and it was able to almost completely cover all black lines. I like to apply first lower of white paint to the background and when the paint is still fresh, I apply the second lower, which is a mix of white plus a little bit of Prussian blue, and in this way I can get a smooth color transitions in the, for the background and paint lay more smoothly on the, pa on the page. In my opinion, painting with, with gouache is much easier for the beginners than watercolors. Main difference is that for watercolors you have to work from light to dark, gradually adding bright colors, dark colors and shades. If you want to have a white spot on your painting, you have to leave it uncolored. With gouache you can work from dark to light thanks to the opacity of the paints. For example, here I started to do the pine tree with dark green and then I mixed white to the green and I added small branches with lighter paint on top of dark. To color with gouache I prefer to use synthetic brushes and it's also very helpful to have them in different shapes and sides. For example, for the background I used big flat brush and here for the pine I used small flat brush and with this form of brush it's easier to paint 
small branches and parts of the tree.
it's possible to use both acrylic paint and gouache paint in the same time for your coloring. Here I decided to do mountain with acrylic paint. I have two shades of beautiful browns, cappuccino and chocolate. They are from Ukrainian manufacturer and they have a matte finish. I also used these paints for the body of this bald eagle. You can use your regular pencils on top of the background which was made with gouache or acrylic paint. In this way you can add details or contrasts. I prefer to use watercolor pencils, for me it's Cochinor Mondeleuze pencils, but you can also use regular pencils, for example Dervent color sorts. Maybe only Prisma colors are too soft and I don't like to use them.
I decided to continue painting eagle's head using gouache again and especially because I want to cover black lines to create more realistic looking feathers.
Here I again switch to acrylic paints. I have two more brands in my art supply stash. First is Italian acrylic of artist quality. They are mimery. They are great. Very creamy with very nice intense colors. They are absolutely amazing. And the second is Amsterdam, which is Dutch brand. They are manufactured by Royal Talents. You know those who produce Van Gogh and Rembrandt watercolors? They are also very nice. They have wonderful selection of beautiful colors, both bright and pale. Pastel colors, colors for coloring skin. And by the way, on the Jackson's art, they are relatively cheap. I will leave you a link and you would see how beautiful is the full selection of colors. You can purchase them in small and big tubes and they are quite economically. I prefer to purchase more colors in smaller tubes and I really love that they have both transparent and opaque paints and they are really really very nice shades
I tried to use natural earthy colors for this picture and when I had a look at it, I immediately remembered that the set of my Derwent drawing pencils would be perfect and nice match in colors. So I switched to Derwent drawings. I used Mars Violet as a main color and then I added shadows and highlights using Ruby Airs, Venetian Red, Chocolate, Terracotta, Sepia Red. And on the last step I added some sparks of the light, some highlights using wheat and yellow ochre.
I hope that with this video I encouraged you to use a more mixed media in your calling and to show you how beautiful could be pictures made with mix of different art mediums. I am happy with the result. Of course, the original painting by Jody Bergsma is absolutely amazing and maybe in my future callings I will try to repeat after Jody with her color palette, but for now I am quite happy with my result. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions about gouache or acrylic paints, I will be happy to answer them from my small experience and I definitely will continue to use them for my future tutorials. Thank you for watching and for listening to me. Happy coloring to all of you!